Hey everyone, it's Carrie Tatsu here, and this next video is going to focus primarily on this tub. This is uh, how we give our baby a bath. So remember, I'll give another video about this, but the goal is to have the food, the bath, the love, the rest, and the diaper icon all happy. The reason the icon is currently happy is because prior to doing this video, I tested the tub and actually gave Alex a bath. So you'll see this icon is happy. So I'm going to close that. You can also see that there are 14 minutes remaining of animation time. That's because I had already given Alex a bar of soap and I had 14 minutes left to use it. So all the consumables will last for 24 hours. Um, in this case, while we're testing, we have the time a little bit shorter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the tub and I'm going to click call a sign. Now I've already assigned Alex, so I don't need to click assign because he's already been assigned. If there's another baby out here that has not been assigned, I click assign and assign that baby. Now the difference between calling and assigning is that if I want to leave my tub out and I want a friend or caregiver to use it, I can assign the babies I want, leave them assigned, and then what what they'll do is they'll click it, they'll click the tub, and they'll see the list of babies to call to it. So what that means is that someone can't just decide to use my tub with my baby or their baby without me assigning the babies first. So I'll click Alex. Now Alex is going to pretty quickly pop into the tub. And you'll see, um, now, one thing I know people have asked for, is there a way for me to pick my baby up and put them into the crib? Or is there a way to pick my baby up and put them into the tub? Unfortunately, at this time, Second Life doesn't easily allow you to detach something and have it appear exactly in the world where you want it. Um, in fact, with Animesh, you can't even right click and drop. So there are some limitations to how we can actually place these babies inside um, their accessories. It really has to do with limitations um, that we are with in Second Life. So now you see the babies in the tub. I'm going to click the mat to stand on it. It says bath attached soap. Attached to your avatar, is this okay? Yes, all you're doing is you're attaching some soap to your avatar. Now what I'm going to do is I have 11 minutes left, so I'm just going to click animate. If I didn't have any time left or I had a new baby here, I would click new soap and it would tell me how many soaps I had left to use. But as long as I have time left on my timer, I don't need to um, buy any new soap. So I click animate and so you're going to see I immediately start washing the baby and some bubbles appear. You're also going to see that maybe I'm not perfectly aligned. So let's make some adjustments. So the first thing I'm going to do is, oh, well, so wait, let me just say one thing. The baby responds to you. See how she's watching? She lifts her arms up. But let, let me show you a few things. I want to get this aligned better. So I'm going to click the tub and let's click bubbles. And I'm going to hide the bubbles from the soap, just so you can sort of see my hand a little bit better. So I'll leave the bubbles in the tub. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the tub, click AV offset, and let's see how, let me move this here. Let's see how close my avatar is. Whoops, sorry about that. So, so far, I want to, let's see, move back. So AV offset, and let's move my avatar backwards slightly. You can see I'm just ever so slightly moving back. The other thing I, I want to do is raise the tub. Now all I'm doing is what anybody can do. I'm just aligning the baby better to fit my avatar. So let's raise the tub. This raises the tub a little bit. Let's click animate again. And now let's go to AV offset. Now I'm a little bit better here. Maybe I have to raise the tub a little bit more. All right, I have to go backward. I have to go to the right. 
I'm sorry, the left slightly. I have to go a little bit backward. So you can see, I'm just, let me go a little bit forward to the right. Oh, she's talking, look at that. So all I'm doing is making minor adjustments in my alignment while I wash this baby. I can raise the tub higher, I can, there we go. So it's still clipping, but if I continue to tweak this with AV offset, I can move my avatar just right so she can fit the baby and animate with her. And you can see the baby has expressions as she's getting bathed. Now the other thing too is that you can see the timer, I have four minutes left on my happiness and bath is happy. Now when I'm done, I can stand up and all I do to get her to go is I click the bath and I click leave and she's not only out of the tub, but she's fully dressed. She's going to start crawling away, so I'm going to tell her to sit. So if you look here, she's fully dressed, she's out of the tub, and she's clean. Now I'm still standing on this mat. I accidentally stood on it again, but I can stand up, walk around. And now you can see there's still seven minutes left for me to bathe her. If I assign another baby to this, their name will be listed as well. I can hide this hover text by just clicking the hover text icon off and you don't have to see it. If you want to show it, you just click it on and you can see how many minutes are left of animation time and which baby is assigned. And that's it. Thanks. Bye.